how are you students? Uh, I think all are you well and keeping your study perfectly. And I am very glad to be here because I have a wonderful class today. And it's about pronoun. Because last class we discussed about the noun. Okay, so uh, let me start the class today. Okay, look, there is a wonderful presentation. It's about pronoun. Last class I have told you what is part of speech. Part of speech means why do we use a sentence? Suppose I go to school. There are a lot of words. I go to school. All are words. Okay. When a words used in a sentence, we call the word part of speech. Yes. So, we know uh, part of speech is many kind of, but today we are going to talk about the second part of speech. And that is pronoun. Look, there is wonderful text. And let me read the text. You listen very carefully because after reading the text, you have to answer some question. Okay? Okay, let's start. This is Shajib. Shajib is my best friend. Shajib reads in class 7. Shajib is a very good student. Shajib likes to read. Shajib also likes to play football. Shajib and I play football every day after school and beside this the same passage the same text i write a little bit differently and that is this is shajib he is my best friend he reads in class 7 he is a very good student he likes to read he also likes to play football we play football every day after school Yes, look, I think uh, you guess the meaning of the uh, sentence and there is some difference. Yes, so I have a query and that is that. What difference do you notice between the two texts? This text and this text. I highlight the words, just you think. What's the difference between the two texts? Okay, let me show the answer. Look, he equal to Shojib and we equal to I plus Shojib. That means the first text I use the name and the second text I use he and we. So, uh, there have a notice, look. To avoid the repetition of Shojib, he has been used. Here, he and we are pronoun. So, the highlighted word, he and we are pronoun. Pronoun has been used to avoid repetition of noun. I think, look, listen to me. If I tell like that, uh, Rakib is a very good boy. Rakib always go to school. And Rakib uh, play football after the class. Uh, Rakib is a very attentive boy. And he respect or obey his parents. So Rakib, Rakib, Rakib. It's so boring by listening and it's a uh, it's, um, break our speed. So we have to use pronouns instead of noun so that we can speak smoothly. We can avoid the noun. Okay. So uh, stay with me and I think you will, um, you will get enjoy and words and it would be make you skill in a part of speech okay so watch the next slide look find out the pronoun from the following sentences look there are uh, some picture and uh, with the picture i have some text and you have to find out the words the pronouns okay but I would like to request you, you have to push the video and then you have to think, you have to brainstorm uh, to find out the pronoun from the text and I think that the, all of the picture help you to understand the text. Okay, number one, as a dog uh, is happy, it is wagging its tail, 
Number two, Tanim is a lazy boy. He likes to sleep all day. Number three, Sonia has a rabbit. He gives it vegetable to eat. Number four, we will have a finished reading the books at night. Uh, number five, they are making a loaf for the pigeons. Okay, so I think uh, you have already completed your answer. Uh, let me show the answer. Look, in the first sentence, it is a pronoun. In the second sentence, he. In the third, she. And fourth, you. And in fifth, they. Okay, I think uh, you guess what is pronoun. Okay, let me <laughs> go to the next slide. Look, and it is very interesting, very interesting. And just watch the video and try to guess what would be the meaning or what would be the lesson. Look, <laughs> there is the text. What can you see here? Just think, what can you see here? Just watch very carefully. Look. Two men, Anis and Mubarak, are standing nearby a foot bridge made of bamboo. Yes? Mubarak is holding a dog and Anis is holding a cat. Just watch. Yes, there are two persons. One is name is Anis and another name is Mubarak. That means Anis and Mubarak is a naming word. And uh, they are standing by a foot bridge. Foot bridge is a naming word. And bamboo also a naming word. That means the noun. Uh, what we have learned previous class. Mubarak is holding a dog. Dog is a noun. That means the naming word. Anis is holding a cat. Cat is a naming word. So uh, are you thinking why I am, I am uh, talking about the noun? Of course. They have a reason. Just watch the uh, next slide. And that is now describe how Anis Mubarak, the dog, the cat, and the foot breeze. That means they're asking. I like to asking you. You, you. you think, you describe the noun. And in the previous class, we uh, know about or you knew about the words, the describing word. Now I am asking you, describe the noun that means the Mubarak, the dog, the cat, Anis and the food breeze. Just describe. Okay, let me show the answer. Look, Anis is a fat with a short hair, Mubarak is a tall and thin uh, with a long hair, the dog is black and white, uh, it has a long ears, the cat is white with large eyes and a bushy tail. The breeze is narrow and old. Yes. So, what are you thinking uh, about this? Look, I'm, I'm describing again. Anis is a fat with short hair. So, Anis is a noun and fat, fat is a describing word. Okay, fat is described. What is Anis? And short. Short is a describing word and here is a noun. So short is describing about the noun. That means his hair is short. Okay. On the other, Mubarak. On the other hand, Mubarak uh, is tail. Um, on the other hand, Mubarak is tall and thin with long hair. That look, Mubarak is tall. That means the tall, the highlighted word tall is describing about the Mubarak and the long hair. Long is describing about the hair. And you know where is the noun. The dog is black and white. Black and white is describing about the color of the word, the dog. And there are another describing word and that is it has long hair. It has long hair. Okay. Hair is a noun and long is a describing word. And the cat is white and large eyes. The cat is white. That white is describing word and it describes about the cat. Okay, and large eyes. Eyes is a noun and large, large, large. 
large is describing what and it's describe about the eyes okay and a bushy tail tail means uh do you know what do you mean by tail the dog have a tail the tail and the tail is bushy is the tail is bushy tail bushy tail okay so the bushy is talk about the tail so is of, of course it, uh, the bush is a uh, what is called the describing word the bridge is narrow and old the bridge is a noun narrow is a describing word and old also a describing word so there are nodes the highlighted words are describing the naming words noun that means the highlighted words are describing or talking about words the noun okay so the words are, are called adjective i think you are guessing what is adjective you have to remember you have to memorize that a describing word is an adjective of course it must be described about a noun okay so which word describe about noun we call them adjective suppose the art is round art is a noun and round is adjective okay you are a student student is a noun but you are a good student good is a adjective because good describe about the student now okay so uh, let me show the next slide look identify the adjective in the following sentence uh, there are a lot of adjective and you have to find out again i would like to request you to push your video and make the answer and then you have to continue okay so let me show the answer okay the boy is lazy look the boy is a noun and which one is the adjective of course the lazy because lazy is described about the noun the boy he gives me five mangoes mangoes is a noun so what is would be the adjective of course it's a five because the five describe about the noun means the mango okay he was absent from the school he was absent he is a pronoun and absent yes absent absent is a adjective because absent is described about his position is absent okay bogora is a small town bogora is a noun and small is a e describing word the town e describe about the town bogora okay so small is an adjective the next the old man man is a noun and the old is describing the man the man is old the man is not here yeah. okay so the old is a describing word so it is adjective i think you are uh, uh, clear about the adjective so I, I i would like to finish here and i think you will stay with me you will be wait for me for the next class and i hope so okay and i would like to add here that i already have put the worksheet the exercise paper below the description box just you download it and then practice in your home for better man okay bye bye thank you welcome for the next class